This is uh, three minutes and 38 seconds left in the third quarter, second and 10, Kansas City 19, Ali Marpet, number 74. He gets beat by 98, Tershawn Wharton. Uh, basically just manhandles and comes in and gets a quarterback hit on Tom Brady. Causes somewhat of a bad pass. Ugh, there we go. And Godwin just can't bring it in. There's an ensuing drive by the Chiefs after the Buccaneers scored a field goal in the third quarter. You're going to see 77 holds 90 JPP. This is quite plain and obvious. Uh, you're going to see uh, the tight end, I believe it is, comes over and helps double team with JPP a bit. Uh, they've been doing this all day with JPP. But keep an eye on 77 and 90. Right there, right there, see it? And then he pancakes him. <laughs> this, is, this is great by Whitehead. Boop. Oh, Winfield almost got another one. Look at this again. Let's step through it so you can see it right there. He's got him. And, you know, if he wouldn't have held JPP, JPP probably would have came out and got Mahomes. Look at that, look at that. I mean, come on now. And then falls on him. Boop. Big boy Vita Vea running. Okay, this is towards this is a uh, right at the end of the third quarter. I want to show you some stuff that's been going on during this game. We had talked about this in the podcast, Molly Bay and I. Keep an eye on twenty-four Carlton Davis at number ten, Tariq Kill. If you don't remember. Uh, Tyreek Hill burned Carlton Davis a little bit in the Week 12 game, but check this out. Okay, a little bit of a DPI right there, but boom. You see that? He just he shoves uh, Tyreek Hill. Okay, right there. That looked like face mask under DPI, but then boom, right there. That is totally legal because here's what happens. And you can see... Carlton Davis is noticing that. He's looking. He's looking over here. As soon as Mahomes steps outside the pocket, defenders are allowed to hit receivers. Uh, can't hold them, but they can hit them. So what this does is it basically takes Hill out of the play. He gets thrown off balance. He can't run around, and Mahomes is, have, has to throw it to somebody else. But let's look at this in some more context. Here's another play. This is a couple plays later. Keep an eye on 87. Okay, Mahomes is outside the pocket. Watch what 24 does again on Kelsey. He shoves him and knocks him down. Takes him out of the play. Now... Here we go again. This is the very next play. This is great. Keep an eye on 23 SMB and 31 Daryl Williams. There's 23. Here's Daryl Williams. Okay, now Mahomes is outside the pocket right now. Watch what, watch what 23 SMB does. Shoves him out of bounds. Now, as soon as he does that, 31 is not eligible to catch the ball again. He can't touch the ball. He can't be the first guy to touch the ball anyhow. And then watch what this allows SMB to do, 23. He just leaves him alone. And then he's able to double team back here. And boom. Great defensive awareness by our guys. But also on this play, I want to show you a illegal blindside block. Keep an eye on 90 JPP. He gets clobbered by a blindside block. This is so totally illegal. I do not know how the refs did not see this or call it. I saw it during the game, but okay, he's going. He gets some pressure. Gets some pressure. Falls down. He gets up. He runs again. He gets blocked here, but then right here, boom! <clears throat> Completely illegal blindside block. 
77. Here's JPP. You cannot do this, buddy. Well, I guess you can, but you're not supposed to be able to. <laughs> and here we go. We have it again. This is fourth down and nine. You'll see. Keep an eye on Carlton Davis up here on Tyreek Hill. It's man coverage across the board with two safeties. It's like my favorite coverage. Keep an eye on Davis and boom, right here. Keep an eye on him. You see Mahomes is outside the pocket. You see what Davis does here. He, boom, boom. Nice stuff, nice stuff. And now for my favorite Buccaneers play of all time, Victory Formation. Now if you watch this uh, Tiffy series, you know I make a big deal about this. The amazing thing about having the Victory Formation is they're, they're kind of rare, but they're so rare, and this is so amazing, that we have had eight Victory Formation games in a row. Eight victory formations are so fantastic because what they're saying is the other team didn't have a chance. We there was no uh, there was no chance of a comeback. There was no uh, fourth quarter rally. It's a definitive defeat. Victory formation. Look at that, fellas, right there. Super Bowl champions, best football team in the world, and we're going to do it again next year. There's not a team in the league that's close to us. So be prepared. Bucks, thank you for a fantastic season. Go Bucks.